Many thanks for choosing us. Uh, let's get to the details. I disagree with US travel advisory alert to LGBTQI travelers. That's according to Information Minister Kojo Ponkroma, rejecting claims there are emerging threats against the community if the anti LGBTQI bill is passed in its present form. The United States government last week in, uh, updated its travel advisory alert to LGBTQI plus travelers coming to Ghana after its Ambassador Virginia Palmer warned of a possible blacklisting and ban on Ghanaian businesses dealing if the bill is passed in its present form. Speaking to me, the, the media in Accra, Information Minister Kojo Ponkoma insisted Ghana is a sovereign nation and it will stick to its position on such matters. Honorable the U.S. Embassy has some really According to them, we have a lot of that because I get to the president of the Are you worried about that? We disagree with them on that. Is there any other question? We are a sovereign nation. What are we going to do that? We disagree with them on that. We'll continue with what we believe is our governance principles. Let's get on to other stories on Joy News Desk this morning. Supreme Court Judge Justice Emmanuel Unicolendi has emphasized the crucial link between moral integrity and administration of justice in the country. Justice Unicolendi says individuals with deprived morality should not be entrusted with the responsibility of dispensing justice. He highlighted the significance of impartiality in judicial proceedings and the necessity to instill confidence in Ghanaians regarding the credibility of legal verdict. He made these remarks on the law Sunday while sharing insights on the topic Court of Competent Jurisdiction. Listen. There's been a rather unfortunate uh, castigation, judgment, indictment of judges and the judiciary. I didn't realize how the extent to which judges are bastardized and, and spoken about <laughs> in lonely terms and with suspicion until I became one. Okay. And then I was like, oh, is this what I really bargained for? <laughs> and sometimes, and more often than not, it's all inflamed by misunderstanding lack of um, information. information, lack of the education on what we do, how we do it, what the rules that they, the people, have provided for us, right. allow us to do, etc., etc. And where there is, for want of a better word, ignorance, then there's a huge potential for those who are up to mischief to manipulate the system to incite the people right. and position people to have an anti-court, anti-due process, anti-judiciary posture. Who are you when they say you are a judge? Mm -hmm. You're actually a trustee and a servant of the people trying to administer justice in their name for them and on their behalf. And so at best, the judge in all that decoration is a decorated servant of the people exercising trust power which doesn't belong to the judge or the court because sovereignty and justice emanate from the people. So in terms of the software that you need, the ethical base, the core values, which being a person of high moral standing improving character speak to that software whether you are sitting in the lowest court or in the highest court is the same denominator because a dishonest man should not come anywhere near the sanctuary of justice mm. even at the most basic level a person of depraved morality who is known among his peers to be of no good report cannot purport or pretend to administer justice because of the element of impartiality and the need to engender the confidence of the people who receive your verdict. You have the Justice Unique Colindy. He's a Justice of the Supreme Court. Now it is.